Okay, welcome to uh, video two of the uh, on lab uh, version three internet security. I got a uh, about five more uh, links to test out because uh, a lot of the other ones uh, didn't work out too well. Some most of it weren't working. So uh, let's see what we got here. That one doesn't work. I haven't tested any of these, I just got them, so some of them might already be dead. But you don't know. You don't know when you grab some of this stuff what works, what doesn't work. So we got going on in the background here. Oh, being redirected here somewhere. Oh, never mind, that one's dead. That dropper from before is still in there. some of the links that I already grabbed uh, didn't work either. Now they might not be working because the uh, system's already infected, but uh, we can always try that out. We can go to Google. redirected anywhere. Nope, not getting redirected yet. Ah, Vast works too. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to close this out. I'm going to open up V3 and I'm going to do a scan on this. Intense scan, local drive. And I'm going to let it scan here. Now, I don't know how long this is going to take, but uh, once it starts scanning here, I'm going to put it on pause and uh, I'll be right back when it's all done. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, finished scanning. Found uh, two threats. So uh, I'm going to repair them here. And it says repair by uh, deletion. And it is done, apparently. So what I'm going to do now is uh, open up Internet Explorer, and it uh, changed my home page. I know it did that because it's in the settings uh, right here. When it does a full-time scan, it changes your home page back to whatever you want it to be, just so you know. So uh, let's go to Google. I'm going to download uh, Malwarebytes and uh, give it a scan. But I'm sure y'all know how this is going to turn out, so uh, don't be too uh, disappointed. And it looks like uh, computer locked up. That might be because of something that's already running. The uh, Internet Explorer locked up at least. As you can see. So whatever's still on there, that dropper or who, who knows what, something is uh, messing with Internet Explorer and when I got to the Malwarebytes website it locked up. I don't know if it's because it got to the Malwarebytes website or because of some other reason. So let's try to download it from another website. It's just having a hard time right now with uh, anything that's on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, restart 
and I'm going to uh, bring in a copy of Malwarebytes that I'm going to download on my host PC. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so when I uh, restarted the computer, I was greeted by a warning saying that the antivirus is turned off. So if you go and open it up, you can see that something has disabled all the security and it's still disabling as you can see it's just kicking it off constantly so whatever's on here is pretty bad it's gotten into the antivirus uh, software and basically killing it so what I did is I went and downloaded uh, Malwarebytes and I downloaded it and named it just some random numbers uh, see if I can get it to install and maybe we can uh, clean up this machine a little bit and as you can see, uh, let me start up my internet connection here. I think my internet connection is dead too, so whatever's on there uh, definitely killed it. Let's uh, do a scan here. See how much stuff it actually finds. Uh, I'm sure it's going to find more than uh, the rest of them because I actually had that uh, downloader installed. So I'm going to pause the video right now. As you can see, it's already starting to find infections, and I'll be back when this is done. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes just finished. Found uh, 10 things. Let's uh, look and see what I found. Uh, found a couple of backdoor bots, Trojan agent, a couple of stuff. So let's remove the selected, and uh, even my sound card is dead, apparently, uh, in the virtual machine at least. And uh, let's restart this, and I'll be right back. Okay, Windows is starting back up again. We'll see if we got anything back. Uh, it's still uh, getting turned off, so we might uh, have a nasty rootkit or who knows what on here something is definitely turning it off um, we'll see if we got the internet back again but <clears throat> seeing as I normally don't like to go over two videos it just makes too long to watch um, you can see that uh, to me this looks like it uh, failed um, by looking at the actual component itself what I don't see is anything that offers uh, an on-demand or like a real-time I don't mean like on-demand a real-time um, heuristics or um, hips or anything like that it looks like it relies solely on signatures and in today's world you can see why that's not a good thing because it will decimate anything that relies just solely on signatures uh, seeing as uh, I got another minute and a little bit left what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause it I'm gonna get combo fixed real quick and I'll be right back Okay, so I downloaded Combo Fix and I'm gonna run it and uh, see if it can uh, fix this computer up uh, where the uh, antivirus couldn't and the malware bytes couldn't because it was uh, couldn't, couldn't even get on the net. So uh, let's see here. Yes, I don't know if I'm gonna start another video, but uh, it's preparing to run. Uh, you've all seen how combo fix runs so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this and just let it run and I'll be right back well it uh, looks like combo fix let me uh, get connected back to the uh, internet so uh, let's see here I uh, guess not well still got some major malware happening here so I'm just gonna leave you guys with that um, on lab version 3 internet security 8.0 need some work definitely alright guys yeah take care you have a good night now